What is going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I've been making Flipper Zero content on both TikTok and YouTube for months and months, I think eight months now. And one thing I've always been 100% about is integrity. I try to make sure that everything I do, be it a short or a long form video, is 100% real and I'm not misrepresenting anything. Well, that doesn't go for everyone. And as you can see from some of the videos that have been up on YouTube recently, including this one, there have been a lot of people posting videos that are either completely fake or just completely misrepresenting what Flipper can do. So today, I'm gonna to do a bit of a deep dive on some of these videos, show you what's real, show you what's not, and we can kind of dissect them as we go. Put on that skeptics hat, it's time to tear apart these fakers, fraudsters, and scammers. Let's go. So the first video I'm going to show you is actually somebody claiming to steal a credit card with one. Um, you see this all the time, and if you've seen my video before on how Flipper Zero can't steal your credit card, you'll know that it's just not possible. I won't get back into bi-directional handshakes or any of the security features that are actually required to run an NFC credit card, but again, as I explained, the Flipper Zero just doesn't have the technology to do it. All right, so of course this video comes from TikTok. Uh, let's just check it out, get right into it. Today we're going to use the Flipper for the first time. I'm going to show my boy here, Joseph, how this actually works. NFC, read. Okay, hit your phone. It beeps. See that? American Express. Now you guys seen right there. This man's American Express. Could have just been stolen just like that. That's how easy it is. Yeah, you can see why people get confused. It certainly looks like they're copying a credit card. It beeps, it makes all these things, but it's really just not real. But this next video takes it to a whole new level. So let's get into that one. Obviously back on TikTok, and let's just see what happens here. So right now he's emulating a UID, the cell called Money. He's trying to make it look like he's scanning a credit card right now, but it's beeping over and over again. That's not how these things work. If you ever used a touchless credit card on a gas station, they definitely don't make this beeping sound all over and over again. My guess is that he actually already scanned his card and then basically just held a flipper up to it and it kind of freaked out, like, why is it doing this? And then just kind of giving you an error. So of course, now he's pumping his gas, trying to flex like he's actually, you know, using his flipper as a credit card, but none of this is real. It's it's absolutely fake. He's gonna go ahead and show himself, you know, he's got gas coming out of it. Look at that, gas coming out. But the best part's right at the end. Look at this flex coming up. Look at this, look at this. Oh, we got my fake Rolex. <laughs> Yo, man, TikTok's amazing. Watching videos like that, it's no surprise that even law enforcement agencies are kind of freaked out about this thing. Amazon no longer allowing them on the platform, same I believe with eBay. And it's just because people don't understand how it all works. That being said, there's actually a ton of real stuff on TikTok. Now, my whole channel's real, but I'm not gonna rehash any of that. Uh, let me show you some other really cool videos that I found on TikTok. Now, this first video comes from Taco Cat. Taco Cat's amazing. If you haven't subscribed to her on TikTok, do that as soon as this video is over. But um, yeah, right now it's gonna show her brute forcing some pins on a Samsung phone. So let's get right into it. Let's see what's going on. Running Rogue Master custom firmware and using a bad USB script. Now, this is going to use a top 65 four digit pins. So this is a dictionary style brute force attack, and it's just going through testing every single pin until it finally gets to the right one. So 100% real. This is absolutely what's going on. Not misrepresented, not fake at all. Again, this is a great instance that shows you that dictionary attacks are one of the most common brute force attacks, and it's super important to have a non-obvious password. People, even with a four-digit password, they tend to use really, really obvious passwords that are really easy to crack. As long as you have a password that's not like in the top 100 passwords, uh, chances are brute force attacks like this are not going to work on your phone. The next video we're going to look at is from my buddy, I am Jacoby. I am Jacoby is an absolute legend with bad USB and PowerShell payloads. The guy can do so many cool things. So let's take a look at his channel and see what he's got going on. So this is Jacoby's channel. Again, if you haven't subscribed to him yet, please do. Awesome dude makes great content. So yeah, let's uh, hop in here and see what's going on. In mere seconds, this flipper bad USB script will get your target's name, email, public and local IP addresses, 
along with the MAC addresses associated with each network adapter. It will immediately be sent to your Discord and you are clear to make your escape. This is just one of the many payloads I've written for what is now the most popular bad USB repository on GitHub. Use responsibly. What a legend. This stuff is all real. It's absolutely amazing. That just shows that there's a bunch of really cool real stuff and a bunch of really dumb fake stuff out there. But recently, I've seen a few things that really pushed it to a whole nother level. Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> what on earth happened? Now, this video has been around for about a month, and he actually posted a video earlier um, doing a similar thing, but this time he actually completely fries a capacitor, at least that's what we're led to believe, inside this power meter just using a flipper. Now, I've seen some videos from him earlier that were a bit suspect, and we'll talk about those in a second, but something about this just didn't feel right, and I had some questions about the validity of this video right from Jump Street. I wasn't the only person skeptical, but I'm not an expert in smart meters, but luckily out there, there's an expert in smart meters and he calls out this entire video shot for shot. So it turns out hash over at reverse engineering news on the recessim channel. Is that how it said? Sorry. Um, but he happens to be a smart meter expert. He saw this video and immediately knew something was up. Now you should all take a look at his video. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm not gonna explain too much about it because you should just go hear it from him. You don't need to hear it from me verbatim, but I'll give you some bullet points of kind of some of the things that he found out. So one of the first things he points out is the fact that the Ameren smart meter that he's using in there is only really serviced in Illinois and Missouri, but this guy's from Canada. So that doesn't even make sense. So the question is why is somebody in Canada going off these two machines that aren't even used in his country and trying to play it off like they're actually installed on his house. Hash even goes as far as to finding out where the guy actually lives and showing his legitimate power meter on the side of his house, which is nowhere near the air conditioner unit that he's showing this other smart meter on. So when I saw that and realized the lengths that this guy actually went, to set up a fake power box, it really got me thinking about an earlier video that I'd seen him doing. Now in this video, he's using the Flipper Zero to generate a 14 hertz frequency in order to use an IR blaster effectively to try to trigger traffic lights. Now traffic lights in fact do have what's called an Opticom infrared system. This has a sensor on top of the light and if something shoots a 14 hertz frequency at that light, it will actually trigger the lights for emergency vehicles. There are videos on YouTube going back to as far as, what do we have, 15 years ago, showing people using IR transmitters, in this case a remote control for a TV, uh, to try to trigger these traffic lights. So it's definitely possible, but this video still didn't quite feel right. All right, so this is the video of him supposedly controlling traffic lights. Let me unpause this and let's take a look at this. So we start off at a green light, I mean, whatever. There's nothing that leads me to believe, at least, that he's doing anything to the traffic light here. Cruising down the street, we see another green light. It is green from the, the first frame I can see it until past after we get past it. Again, nothing that leads me to believe here that there's anything of him doing anything to control this light. Yeah, and we're watching traffic way, way down the road, far enough away that even if he had an Opticom system that was working correctly, it wouldn't be controlling him that far away. This is a green light. It was a green light the whole time. Definitely not him controlling anything. And now we have a light up here. You can see traffic is already going on the right side. So this is a stale red light. This light's been red for a while. Now, if he had the right system going, this would have turned green already. It would have gone immediately. He gets all the way up to here before it turns green. And again, this has been a red light. This is a stale red. This has been like that for a while. This is definitely not him controlling the lights. Cruise through this intersection. And then there's another light section up here again green the whole time. This video isn't actually proving anything. I would assume if this was real, he would show actual proof of concept footage that definitively shows how it works. Now, I guess the question is, why do I care? Well, the problem with videos like this is it leads to more and more fake videos, which leads to more and more misinformation. We hear about this stuff all the time in all the discords, it's super freaking annoying to deal with. But yeah, this stuff snowballs. So let me show you what happens 
after a video like that gets put out where people think it's actually something that they can do. So now we have a video of somebody trying to look like they're doing the same thing, but this time it's absolutely completely and totally stupid because he's not even doing something that could possibly control the lights. Let's just get at it. We'll take a look at it. I have it muted so I don't get copyright struck, but you take a look. Wait. So it's just him driving down the road. I think he's emulating something. I can't really tell exactly what he's doing on here, but it's literally doing nothing and saying that he's controlling traffic lights. It's the dumbest thing in the world. It's not even trying to make it look like it works, but it gets dumber. He's got another video and here's the next one. Same stupid crap right now. Yeah, he's transmitting something. He presses the button and it sits there red, sits there red, sits there red. It's still red. He's waiting. Now he's pretending he's using an IR function. And then all of a sudden it goes, come on, like, but people believe this stuff. The comments are full of people being like, oh my God, how do I do that? What firmware, what scripts, it's all garbage. This is the reason why I felt the need to make a video like this, just to point out how absolutely crazy this stuff is. So yeah, those are just some ridiculous videos. People showing off and trying to basically get clout for things that they really just can't do. But it gets worse from there because not everybody's just out for clout. Other people are out there to actually try to enrich themselves. And that brings us to Eunice. Now, Eunice came out a few months ago making Flipper Zero videos on TikTok, trying to say that it can do literally everything. Actually, you don't have to hear me talk about it. Let's hear him talk about it. So this is Eunice's TikTok channel, Eunice PC. Uh, tech with Eunice, he calls it. And yeah, let's just listen to what he's got to say. This is the craziest device you can buy. I finally bought it. This is Flipper Zero. Currently, it's sleeping. Basically, it can open cars, Tesla charging ports, turn on and off TVs, capture credit cards, NFC tags, and many more cool stuffs. And if you know how to write scripts for it, you can pretty much control every electric device in the world. I have the. No. You cannot control every electric device in the world, Eunice. Now, video like this, normally no one would care about over representing what Flipper can do. I mean, people are doing this every single day. But what Eunice was doing was Eunice was actually creating his entire TikTok channel to push products. He started making SD cards and those SD cards were stacked with pretty much everything that was on Uber's repo. And he was selling them to unsuspecting people. He had a bunch of videos showing off his SD card, saying it could do this, it could do that, it could unlock literally the world. None of it was true and all of it was work that he didn't do. He didn't give any attribution to it. He was just stealing other people's work and selling it as his own. He had a bunch of videos showing off this card and since then they've been removed so I can't show you. However, I can show you his new web store to show you what he's up to. So we're cruising on down to EunicePC.com, checking out what he's got to offer. Right now he's got the ultimate ethical hacking tools. So what does $50 he had us? Let's find out. Let's hop right into here. Well, here we have it. The Ultimate Ethical Hacking Package 2.0 for $50 American, you too can pick up your copy of Kali Linux, a completely free Linux distribution, completely chock full of things like Responder, SQL Map, Veil Evasion, Wireshark, uh, WP Scan, X Hydra, Zap Proxy, and thousands more completely free things. So he may not be selling SD cards for the flipper anymore, but he's still selling free stuff for money. And what really irks me about it is the fact that somebody may be wanting to get into cybersecurity and then they drop their 50 bucks on this and realize they just got completely scammed and maybe that turns them out for the entire process and then they just give up and you know it's just a way to lose cybersecurity experts this kind of stuff is nonsense and it needs to stop that's enough of me ranting and raving it's just i hate seeing people trying to take advantage of people especially when they're trying to learn about something and then just trying to sell them snake oil it just really rubs me the wrong way. Now, I definitely want to make sure I credit everybody whose video was in this one. Links are all down below, but I'll read them out loud in order that it came up. We've got first a bunch of TikToks, 80XED, Voodoo Boys, I Am Jacoby, and Taco Cat. Love you guys. Um, Peter Fairline, 2296 on YouTube. He's the... Um, power meter and the uh, the traffic light guy then we have recism recism r-e-c-e-s-s-i-m i'm sorry i don't know how to pronounce that but your channel's awesome man i really appreciate the work you do um then we have breaking brad ttv on youtube and then of course tiktok Eunice pc now if you have any other videos you'd like me to address just leave them down in the comments below 
I do have another video where I go through and to, you know, look at a bunch of other TikTok videos. Those videos actually were all pretty true. I'll put the link up here and you can check out that video too. So thank you so much for watching. We're going to catch you next time.